This, I'm putting together a little late at night here, but this is something I make that's really simple, that's absolutely delicious, and that you can make really easy at home. And uh, what I have here is just some ranch dressing. I just get those from the cold section. You can buy a bottle of ranch dressing, it doesn't matter. I just like the little ones from the cold section, because otherwise I won't eat a whole bottle of it, it'll just sit in my fridge and go bad. But I have here some ranch. Uh, iceberg lettuce leaf, I just pulled that off, look how beautiful that is. And of course some uh, grape tomatoes which I cut in half. And I of course have some chicken as well. I just took chicken breast and I cut it up in small pieces. Uh, somewhere around half an inch a piece, an inch, doesn't matter. Whatever you can, you know, eat. Just think of what you can chew without, without it being too hard. That being said, so I have this chicken here and I cooked it in olive oil in a pan. So it got some brown edges there and just got nice and it had a little bit of a, a crisp to it but still is juicy because the olive oil will, will help in keep that juice inside that chicken. I've got buffalo wing sauce. It's probably going to steam up the camera here but show you it's hot. Alright so let's get started. This is really easy and really delicious. Alright so what I'm going to do is I have my sauce here. I'm going to take my chicken pour it into my sauce. Once I've done that I'm going to go ahead do the little swishy swish there. Then I'm gonna pour it back into the bowl. So you saw me obviously steam up the uh, camera here, but what I did is I just mixed it around and shook it so it covered the chicken. You can let this actually cook for longer and make it much thicker. There is a recipe for this wing sauce right down below on the link, and uh, it's really simple. The way I did it is actually without the oil. I put the butter in a microwave or on the stove, let the oil kind of separate from the cream. Use the butter, the cream part of the butter, to make the sauce so it would basically be oilless less. And it would just be more of a creamy sauce. I could let this sit longer, but this is fine the way it is. And uh, so we have our, our chicken here. Now we're going to go ahead and assemble. So here I have a bowl. I think the bowl is just the best way to assemble it. It makes it easy and it kind of gives you the foundation for putting it together. You take your iceberg lettuce there. See that? Nice and set. Start loading in your buffalo chicken. Maybe a little more sauce, but just be careful with it because it will saturate that lettuce and then you're going to be having a big mess. And it's really simple after this. Just take your grape tomatoes, put them in there. For those who don't like tomatoes, hey, you know what you can do? You can grate carrot or you can grate celery or take chunks of celery, put it in there so you're having buffalo wings with celery or, or uh, carrots. Once you've got that in there, it's really simple. You just want to pour over your ranch. It's really that easy. You can add more if you want, and but look at that. Boom. Beautiful. Lovely. Make this at home. Your kids will love it. Your friends will love it. Even good for a week in watching football. Whatever it is. Try it out. Buffalo lettuce wrap, beautiful.